everybody, it's Mrs. Reback here. I uh, hope everybody's keeping well. Um, I thought I'd make a video for you because I know that in year two this week, I've asked you to make a habitat and I'm going to show you how to make it. Now your habitat, you might decide to do an ocean, a desert, a forest, or even a jungle. So I'm going to show you the resources that you will need in order to make your diorama. A shoebox of any size, sellotape, I've got some pipe cleaners and some pom-poms, um, lollipop sticks, a scissors of course, lots of different types of paper, tissue paper, some glue and some felt pens. So they are the things that you're going to need in order to make your diorama. So the first thing we're going to do is to make our background for our diorama. And I've decided that I'm going to make an ocean. So for my ocean, I'm going to use some of my tissue paper and some of my different types of paper and I'm just going to collage the inside of my shoebox. So when you have covered your box in different types of paper to match your habitat it should look something like this so I've just covered three sides and the background of my box so now I'm ready to add some coral and maybe some stones just to make it look a little bit more realistic <music> look a little bit more like an ocean so I've sort of put some pom-poms of coral on the floor and just used some sellotape to hang some coral hanging from the uh, the top of my box so that's what it's going to look like in the next phase so next I think I need to add some fish so I'm just going to use some paper or some card my diorama I have added a jellyfish where I've just used some pipe cleaners and a piece of card and I've just hung it from the top of my box and in the background you can see I've just done a fish and that was just a piece of material and uh, drew on a face with some felt tip pens so you could add any sea creatures that you know you could add crabs or any other types of fish, a shark, a whale, anything that you want to add. So it's not quite finished because I think we could add something more. So I am going to see if I can find out some information about one of my sea creatures and write a did you know fact and stick it to my box to give um, whoever looks inside my box some information. So I think I'm going to use the internet to find out some information about the jellyfish. So here I am at my computer and into my Google search engine I've just put jellyfish facts and it's brought up some really information about jellyfish. It says that jellyfish have no brain, heart, bones or eyes. Now they are things that I did not know, so I'm going to use that as my fact. So there's my fact. Um, I wrote, did you know that jellyfish have no brain, heart or eyes? 
Notice that I've used a comma in between brain and heart and I've put a full stop at the end of my sentence and a capital D to start my sentence. Now I'm going to add this to my diorama to finish it off. And there you have it. I've added my did you know to the top of my box where my jellyfish is and of course you can add some more facts. You might have non-fiction books about uh, creatures and um, if not just use the internet or ask uh, a family member about any facts that they know about your chosen creature. So enjoy making your dioramas. Remember it can be a jungle, ocean, a forest, a meadow. You might have some plastic animals that you can add into your diorama to make it look even more amazing. And parents, um, I actually think this is something really nice that uh, you might want to keep and it's something wonderful to look back on in the future that your children made something amazing in this amazing time in history. Please, please, please post your photo photos onto our website so that we can share them with the Brooklands family. Sending you lots of happy days ahead. Thank you everybody.